Hi, in this video I'm going to explain how a magnetic door switch operates. These come in different sizes, different colors, different shapes, some are industrial for very big doors and most of them look like this for your normal domestic applications. Right, so how do these work? Right, so I'm just going to open the magnetic switch to show you what's inside and there you can see I've got two terminals and a glass tube. Now having a look at that glass tube you should be able to see two very small contacts or plates. Now how those plates work is they are activated by a magnet and if I show you my multimeter it's saying zero and here are my multimeter leads and if I short them out together that sound is a buzzer telling me there's continuity or a short circuit and also note on the screen it says zero. So that tells me it's a short circuit. So if for example I go like this it's also a short circuit because the shaft is metal. Right, now over here I have a switch. And if I put my one lead over there and my other lead over here, notice the meter. When I close the switch, it's a short circuit. When I open it, it's an open circuit. It's a short circuit, open circuit. So what happens if you could use a magnet to control the switching operation? So if I put my one lead on the one terminal and my other lead on the other terminal, it's an open circuit. And here I have a neodymium magnet. This is a very strong magnet. Now watch what happens to the meter and listen for the buzzer. So what is happening is those two contacts are closing. I'm going to bring the magnet close and see if you can see those contacts closing. If you have a look, you can see the two contacts coming close together. So this means that if you can install this on the frame of a door and you can install the magnet on the moving part, the door, as the door is opened, you are opening those two contacts, effectively opening the circuit. The alarm panel works by measuring the voltage. These little zones here work according to a voltage measurement. Without making this too complicated, when the voltage coming into the zone changes and it's either higher or lower than a preset value, your alarm panel knows whether the zone has been violated or not. So for example, in the normal condition, the door would be closed. And there you can hear the buzzer in the background and this would mean the zone is not violated, meaning the door is closed. When you open the door, the magnet moves away and now what happens is you're opening the circuit. By opening the circuit to the alarm system, the alarm system knows that a higher voltage means a violated zone. What do I mean by a higher voltage? I'll quickly explain that to you. Right, so if you have a look here, you can see there's the zone. It's connected via this wire to this magnetic switch. Now, if I measure the voltage across the terminals, look at the voltage. It's zero volts because the magnet is in place. But if I remove the magnet, watch what happens to the meter. You can see it's gone to almost 5 volts, 4.8 volts. So you can see that when I close the contact, it's a dead short and that is why the voltage reduces. But do you see there's a resistor in series there? Now that resistor maintains a volt drop when the circuit is closed. So if I close this now and I measure between the white and the blue wire. So there's the white wire and there's the blue wire. You should see on my meter almost 2 volts, 1.99 volts. And if I go to the alarm panel, you should see also 1.99 volts. There you can see 1.99 volts. And when I open the sensor, look at that, it goes to 4.82 volts because now it's an open circuit. So this is one of the reasons why they have a series connected resistor because it assists the alarm panel in making a measurement to determine whether the circuit is open circuited or closed circuited. Right, so there you see how a magnetic door switch works and it's quite similar to a relay. If you know how a relay works, it's just that instead of activating the relay with a voltage, we are activating the relays with a magnet. Okay, thanks for watching and cheers.